to this uh, against LSU, but I was up in the press box typing. What was it like for you to kind of come back and uh, home and get that win in front of your family and uh, some of your friends as well? Oh, yeah, that was exciting. That was a good big uh, road victory for the team, but uh, especially for the Louisiana guys to go back uh, in their home state and, like you said, in front of their friends and family and get that win. What's it been like this week for you, just all the attention? I mean, you can't even hardly turn the TV on without seeing your face or highlights or anything like that. Just all the attention that's kind of shining on you this week. I mean, it takes away my off time, I guess, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. I mean, uh, like, I, like I was telling uh, somebody, they're going to talk good or bad, so let's give them something good to talk about. But uh, I'm just focused about getting, uh, getting better and getting better each day at the quarterback position as a leader. Talking about all that attention, are you aware that all the eyeballs that are on you when you walk around campus, do you make an effort to make sure that you don't do anything, I guess, stupid while you're on campus with all the eyeballs on you? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I try not to do anything stupid regardless. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, on campus especially, now, and a few people are, are watching me now, and uh, everybody's got their eyes, so. Yeah. Is this attention just part of what comes with success? Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to be a great player, and I do, so, I mean, i got to expect this, and I just stay focused on what I want to do and my, uh, common, my common goal and the team goal. What's the off weekend going to be like for you, just getting a chance to get away from football for a couple of days and kind of just relax? I'll be good. I'm going home to see my family, see my grandmother, but I'll still have my iPad with me uh, studying Texas A&M. Dak, go back to that um, LSU game in the second half. First, I think first play, you fumble the football, they run it back for a touchdown. We saw you on the sideline. You are pretty pumped up. You guys looked like you were ready to go. What are you saying to your, to your offensive line and the offense before you get back on the field? I'll uh, just letting everybody know. I mean, obviously it was my fault. I just uh, lost, I guess, a little bit of focus right there and let them strip the ball away. But uh, that we'd respond and I uh, trust me, have my back, and we'd get right. We'd take the lead again. Well, we had the lead, but uh, we'd make it bigger and just go right back out that next drive like nothing happened. It's never good to go into a game, especially the ranked team, with uh, having changed some things with the lineup there. But you've practiced with all these guys who would possibly be center this week, so there's still a comfort factor, isn't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the cover factor goes back to the offseason. It's not anything new just because they're being thrown in the fire. I mean, I expect the guy who will come up and uh, be the new starter this week to do a great job, and I'll be right behind him to support him. Any other questions?